How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining. Welcome back. So today I get to announce who the winner of Levin Rose Night Serum and I am going to use uh, the YouTube random picker is what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and check it out. I do have the random picker up. Sorry about being on this screen but I'm trying I was trying to see if it would it would fit everything would pop up. So all right here's the um, YouTube random comment picker and I'm going to go to the video itself and we'll go ahead and copy the link and go over here and paste it. Okay and then it has load comments. All right so there we go and it's time to pick a winner among 29 unique users found. So randomly pick a winner. So here we go. I have a rose hip seed oil in my rotation. You have a great review and your skin does look really good. Yes, please. I want some rose hip. <gasps> Julie Smith. Okay, Julie Smith. She did put down the yes, please. I want some rose hip. Oh my goodness. I am so super ecstatic because I know who Julie Smith is. Okay, so Julie Smith, you are the winner. So please leave me um, your um, address and everything. I will give it to them. I will email Courtney and give her your address. So please go ahead and um, you know message me on YouTube or email me at all that beauty with Lori at gmail.com and send me over your address so I can go ahead and give it to Courtney so we can go ahead and get it sent off to you. So congratulations Julie Smith. I'm super excited for you and thank you for entering and thank you for all those who have entered. And like I said I do feel bad and I apologize for anybody else that might have been interested in the product because it was only USA only but I will work on some giveaways uh, for it to be international like for everybody. So I do have uh, two upcoming. One, it might be a little bit because I am going through some things and that's all I'm going to say. And uh, so there will possibly be a giveaway with that, but that might even be like another month or so before that would even come up. But I do have one I'm working on at the end of this month uh, for a giveaway. So keep it, keep an eye out for that. So, and I figured I'd go ahead and chit chat a bit to you guys. Also show you the Trolls palette. I picked up the Trolls palette in or er, on Pure Cosmetics and everything. And oh my goodness, it's not for everybody. Not everybody's gonna like all the colors in here and everything. But this has some very beautiful bright colors in there. And that is what I put on my eyes today, actually. I mixed um, Poppy, which is a beautiful, vivid pink color. So I have Poppy and I used DJ, DJ Suki, I used that and I used Fuzzy which is up here. It's a matte shade so is this one here. I used, I used those two I believe DJ or Poppy is a matte shade so I used those three mattes, coordinated them together to make this beautiful beautiful color on the eyes. It almost looks like a sunset color, like the pinks and the oranges. I used a uh, pop icon on the lid and it's more of a shimmer color. I put that on the lid and I used Bridget, which is a kind of a, a sheen satin, uh, whatever, you know, for uh, like above the brow area. I think that's it. Oh, and then I used Creek. I was trying to see Creek, this blue one. I did line my eyes with my blue eyeliner that I got from the L'Oreal uh, Silk Socus Me. I like these. This is um, the color True Teal. And then I placed this below on the water, like underneath there a little bit to make it pop even more. Hold on. Some of them gorgeous orange and neutral shades in there. I mean, you can do anything in here, I feel, pretty much. Wisdom, actually Wisdom, this shade here. I used all over on my eyelid to get set my base and everything and I think it really made such a gorgeous 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 look on my eyes and it's so summery right now like spring summer kind of just getting ready for all that. Also 
I'm going to coordinate a video that I did not long ago, and I was doing a video on the um, CoverGirl uh, Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation, and also the Outlast Coverall CoverGirl Outlast All Day uh, Concealer. So uh, I will have the video clip uh, right now. We'll go to that, and you'll see me applying it and talking about it a right, little so bit. The Outlast All Day Soft touch concealer. I got mine in Fair, 810 Fair. I didn't see a concealer for their new foundation, which is the Caliver All Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. Mine's in number 710 Classic Ivory. It has a sponge type applicator on it. It squeezes out. So I'm going to go ahead and dab along. That I can tell you this is a dry, it dries quickly. So I have to work quick. It's one of them concealers that wants to dry up on you pretty quick. At least that's what it's doing for me anyway. So let's move on to the foundation, which this is what I was super excited to try out. So it's a foundation with vitamins, sunscreen. It has a broad spectrum SPF of 20. That's a good thing. It does come in a nice pump. I do like the bottle. I have to say the bottle is kind of fancy schmancy. Oh, I like that you twist it. Okay, you have to twist it open. So, okay. And it does look like a nice liquid foundation. One side I'm gonna use this sponge that I have from Eco Tools that I really like. So we're gonna do that first. Uh, certain scent but it doesn't have the Noxzema scent that doesn't agree with me so that's a plus for me the other side I'm going to use my oval brush that I love And I was going to do it on a what I'm liking and not so much Wednesday. And I do also have to apologize about that. I have not had them up lately. I've been, I, guys, I've been honestly been super busy. I've had so much been going on. Uh, and then I was in several collabs. And I just, I don't want to bombard you guys with too many videos. It's kind of hard not to because there's so many things I want to share with you guys and show you guys. And But I know some people don't always have the time to watch videos and you know I get that because if they're too long and everything I like to try to edit my videos that's why I do because I am a talker not gonna lie <laughs> I am a talker so I do apologize about that but I'm gonna try and work back into it I might have to change it around I might end up making it a monthly thing but I might still call it my what I'm liking and not so much but do it every month instead of every week so, but I want to share you guys, share with you guys what I'm liking and, and what I'm not liking and what's working for me and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But I'm going to share a little bit here right now since we make up for some of that. So, my thoughts on this foundation here, guys, I'm going to tell you, I am not a big cover girl foundation person at all. And most of you know that I never was really always into their foundations. They've never worked well for me. The CoverGirl Gorgeous one had worked pretty good for me. I liked that one. Uh, there was another one, I forget the name of it, and it came with a silicone uh, application, and I can't remember the name of it. And it was always really good. I liked it really well. But this here has to be the best CoverGirl foundation I have used, played with, worked, and tried. I was quite surprised. At first, I wasn't sure because when I was putting it on, I wasn't sure if I liked it all that much. But I'm going to tell you what, like, for me, I find the best application I get with this is my flat kabuki brush from It Cosmetics. I, I like this, how it, it applies with this brush the best. I love my oval shaped foundation brush. I really like that one. Um, but I just kind of felt like this did a little bit better, more. Uh, application for it. This, now I do get oily in the t-zone but again for me I mean most foundations do that for a lot of people so that's no deal breaker for me. Uh, it weared really nice. It weared pretty much 
throughout the day. I might have seen a little bit around the nose area, but I do get that a lot with a lot of foundations too, uh, the, the breakage of it. But if I touch it up with a little bit of powder and everything, it looks fine. And that is what I'm wearing today. And I'm telling you guys, I don't feel it on. Uh, it, it looks more natural and I'm surprised saying that with a covergirl foundation because not always have I had that with a, a foundation especially in drugstore but it looks more natural some now have compared it to and I don't know the name of the foundation itself but it's the YSL foundation that is so popular with many people glitzy fritzy loved it I really like this this definitely gets two thumbs up and then the um, covergirl outlast all day it was okay. Um, it, it's not bad. I wouldn't say it's extremely bad, but the only thing is you do have to be quick with it because it dries pretty fast. I feel it's one of those um, products that goes on wet and then when it dries, it dries like a powder type finish. I wouldn't recommend setting it. My Myself, I wouldn't, especially for mature ladies. Uh, if you're more younger, like um, below the 30 mark, uh, range then yeah um, if you're 30 up between 30 and 35 maybe yeah but going past the 35 mark and, and on up no because um, you know a lot of us do get that problem here and I found every time I was setting it it would go and settle in my lines and then it would kind of even make me look old like old crepey eyes or something I don't know it just didn't look didn't look pretty guys at all not pretty at all I'm, I wouldn't purchase it again I just think it's okay it's not one of my favorite concealers in the drugstore an upcoming video I will have about the total tees covergirl another covergirl I was working through covergirl products like got quite a few things this mascara so I will have a video coming up here soon and you guys will hear my thoughts on this guy right here I'm going to show you my BoxyCharm. Now, BoxyCharm, I don't show all the products that much. I didn't even get to show you what I got in May, which I did get a brow product, and that is what I'm using right now. The brow gel um, comes like this, like several, you get several different shades for your brows, and then it came with a nice uh, spoolie and brush on the end from the brow, brow girl, like a nice um, tip and spoolie. And it it looks really good. I still need to work with my brows because I don't I don't know. I haven't been always a bit so picky with my brows, but I feel like that's the biggest challenge I have of all and out of any part of my face when I'm doing makeup, it's my brows. Sometimes my lips, I won't lie, because my lips are kind of wonky at times. But but those products are really good. So I, I like them. I actually like it better than my elf set that you can get. There's like an elf set where you get the cream and powder those are all powder but you can wet them if you want haven't tried the wetting yet so the wetting yet does that sound good um also insta flawless from rimmel this is a really nice primer guys i like the rimmel primers that i've tried so far and this one's no exception this is a really good primer this is the one in clear i do know they have tinted ones sort of uh like they're tinted i, I might try that just to see but this is the one that gives you a nice radiant glow this is really good and i've seen shades of cassie ramp up that one and i i do like it so two thumbs up for that ofra i have this highlighter the rodeo drive and that is what you're seeing blingage right here doing a little bit of that gorgeous shine this one came in the april boxy charm however mine was completely shattered completely shattered i contacted them let them know and everything and they told me they were going to send me another one, a replacement, or if they didn't have them, they would apologize and they'd give me something else in return of the same price, favor, and all that kind of stuff. And it's gorgeous. I see why everybody talks about it. I love the little starburst effect that they have on it. And I like one little quickie swipe and oh my goodness, I mean, it really goes on really nice. And I have to say, it doesn't emphasize my lines anywhere here or anything. I do use my bigger fan brush and kind of work it in there and I have to give a thumbs up also to BoxyCharm because you know like it did take another month until I got my next BoxyCharm uh, that's kind of how they do it when they give you a replacement but they did replace it and they did give me another new one and they 
were on it right away and everything, so I have to give them a thumbs up for that. I was pretty impressed and pleased with that. I'll show you what I got in June, though. I can show you June real quick. I'll show you some of the products, which I used this the other day. They sent several sheet masks in the uh, new boxy charm pack that they sent. The sheet masks are $14.97. There's three of them. I think I've seen these on Alta. So there was three of them here. And I did use this one here. Uh, it says hashtag beauty secret. Moisturize to help skin help the skin appear smooth and firm. This one has it's a facial mask with pomegranate and hyaluronic acid. Used this yesterday. Loved it. I love the smell. I can still smell some of it. Very nice saturated with the serum and everything. It was really nice. So I have these two yet. I have not used. This one will be interesting. I think I'll do this demonstration on video because this one is a facial mask with it says with tea, tea tree oil, rosehip extract, and vitamin C. Enhances radiance, minimizes pores, even skin tone. Hashtag primer. So prep the skin for flawless makeup application. Interesting. So I think I might go ahead and we'll try that out and see how that works. And then this one says, I woke up, I woke up like this. God knows how many times I've probably said that one. It says enhances, enhances the skin's natural glow. And this is a facial mask with wild rose and vitamin C. I'm super excited to try these because they have some really nice ingredients in there. So those three there were $14.97. I think the one on Ulta comes with several other packs. So if I really like these, I might get that from Ulta. I did get a Luxie, from Luxie Beauty, Rose Gold Pro Precision Tapered Face Brush is $24. Now this does look like a brush. I'm noticing lately they've been sending a lot of highlighter brushes, which is fine because I'm getting different companies and trying them out. but. I would like to get other brushes after a while. I don't want to keep getting, you know, boy, is this, this seems really nice. This might, we'll see how it works for highlighting and the, the bristles feel really soft. And of course they did send another highlight, which I feel like every palette we, or every box we have been getting highlights. So another thing I'm thinking, boy, I'm really going through the highlights, but highlights are a big thing right now. Um, so I, I, I get that, you know, I do like the boxing box design. It's from a company called Artist Couture. So I, I like that design. It's kind of very regal and elegant. It comes in a container like this. That um, Now I do see some sparkly, so we will see. I have a lot of products I want to share with you guys. I'm going to do a lot of different videos where I'll try stuff out or share it with you. I figured that would be also a nice way. You guys can hear my thoughts and opinions. Super excited about this because speaking of Ofra, I finally got a new a liquid lipstick. This looks gorgeous. I forget the name of this shade here. It probably tells me on my card. Oh, the highlighter. Diamond Glow Highlighter is $26.99 by the way. The Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. They're $19.90 by Ofra. It doesn't say on here. What shade does it? Oh, yeah, it has that buttercream scent. It almost has the same scent as Lorac. Their Ultra Ego. Oh, yeah. That's pretty. Ooh, yeah. I didn't use a lip liner, guys, so I'm sorry if it looks a little wonky. That looks really pretty. Hmm. Doesn't feel too terrible dry. I mean, you can tell it's a matte lipstick and I'm not always big on those, but it doesn't feel too terrible. It feels more comfortable than some of the other ones that I've had. So, and the last product in here is the Real Her, Real Her Play book. Uh, it's an eyeshadow palette. And I think there was like one, two, and three. I think. So it says, be your own kind of beauty. I like that because there's a lot of inspiration, which I think Real Her, so much money proceeds goes to certain things for women, like all kinds of organizations for women. So it is something worth looking into. Mine are mostly all the neutral, like some neutral shades, more shimmer. I see only two uh, mattes, which are on the end right here, these two. Those are the only two mattes I have. The rest are shimmer shadows. So we will play around with it and see. Um, and this palette here retails on their site. Let me double check here. $28. And that's not bad. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate that. Um, if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up and congratulations, Julie Smith. 
remember to uh, email me or message me your address so I can send it off to Courtney and you can get your product and can't wait to hear what your thoughts are and what you're thinking of it all. So I'll put a link down below to Julie's channel. She has a channel on here too, so go and check her out. She's a sweet lady. I really enjoy watching her. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can come and join me each week. Just hit the subscribe button down below and also the bell. Make sure you hit that. That bell does notify you by email of when my videos are ready up and loaded to get ready to watch. So make sure you hit both of those. Love to have you. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.